2022 has been a bad year for women's reproductive rights. First, there was the overturning of America's historic Roe versus Wade ruling. Millions of women lost their right to a safe abortion. And then there were further restrictions in Europe. Right-wing governments moved to curb abortion rights. In Poland, Hungary, now there are fears that Italy may go the same way. So, like I said, a bad year for reproductive rights. But there is finally a silver lining. Today, India Supreme Court delivered a historic verdict. It ruled that all women have the right to abortion, married or unmarried. It doesn't matter. This is what the verdict said. The artificial distinction between married and unmarried women cannot be sustained. Women must have autonomy to have free exercise of these rights. The fetus relies on the woman's body to sustain and therefore the decision to terminate is firmly rooted in their right of body autonomy. In fact, in India, the Medical Termination of the Pregnancy Act came into force in 1971. It allows termination of pregnancy for all women in the first 20 weeks, but only certain categories of women were allowed to have an abortion between 20 to 24 weeks. The act amended in 2021 mentioned seven categories of women, survivors of sexual assault or rape or incest, minors, those who have a change of marital status during the ongoing pregnancy, women with physical disabilities, mentally ill women, women carrying malformed fetus and women pregnant in disasters or emergency situations. The law recognized the change in relationship status, but it was only for married women. It did not talk about whether it applied to unmarried women. This is the gap that the Supreme Court addressed with this verdict. The Supreme Court saying India's right to abortion is not linked to marital status. Everyone has the right to a safe abortion, married or unmarried women. But that's not all. The most significant part of the verdict being, let me read it out for you. The meaning of rape must include the meaning of marital rape solely within the meaning of the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act and rules. This is what the Supreme Court said in its verdict. For India, this is significant, but the court says forceful pregnancy of a married woman can be treated as marital rape. So under the MTP law, sexual assault by husbands can be classified as marital rape. And this makes this judgment even more historic. India is yet to criminalize marital rape. In fact, it is one of the 32 countries in the world that does not punish spouses for marital rape. What makes this observation even more important is this. The Supreme Court currently considering petitions to criminalize marital rape. So this verdict could be a game changer. An indication of how the court is thinking. The current ruling is a milestone for the rights of Indian women. women have hailed it as a landmark judgment at a time when the world is moving backwards and countries are failing to recognize women's rights to their own bodies. And this one could have a far-reaching impact. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.